Right, so now that we have the phone completely disassembled, uh, we're going to proceed to just removing the, the glass. So we do that with a heat gun, just like that. We're going to put it on low. Okay, and we're going to just make sure it's hot enough. Uh, there are other tools you can use, but I'm most comfortable using a uh, exacto knife, as you can see. And another one. I have two, just in case I need to go from two different angles. As, as you can see, you're always moving the heat gun. It's always got to be moving. It cannot be stationary. It has to be moving, or else you're going to overheat the LCD, and you'll experience discoloration. So always keep it moving. Make sure it's about this far away, about three inches away at least from the phone. I'm not touching it, but far away. Okay. And repeat this process for about a minute. If you don't have a, uh, a heat sensor, uh, a good rule of thumb is to make sure that it's too hot to touch comfortably. So for obvious reasons, I have a tissue. And again, I'm doing this whole repair low budget so that you can do it from wherever you are. Okay, and then you grab it, you take your knife, and you start from areas that are already cracked. Right here. Now remember, you only have like at most a 20 second window before it cools down again. There we go. I don't know if you know, you're able to catch any of that. What I'm doing here. You're digging away. Repeat this process until the entire glass has come off. And after about 30 seconds, lo and behold, you're going to have to start reheating it again. Okay, you go right back at it. I'm going to do this maybe about 30 more seconds and I'm going to turn the camera off just to save um, video time but uh, I'm just going to show you enough so you can get the point so you can see how it's done. Okay. You see what I'm doing here? So. Just got to be really gentle with it. Um, do your best to level out the LCD pressure. Okay. All right, that's good. All right, we got uh, most of the glue off, as you can see. At this point, the rest can only be taken off with a. Uh, Alpha alcohol, 99% would be the best, or 99.9. We're just going to spray some on here, like that. Get one of these claws, double fold it, and literally just wipe. And you're going to be repeating this process for like another 10 minutes, or maybe even more, depending on how much adhesive is on there. Just going to wipe, and this thing evaporates very quickly, so you really don't get that many wipes and afterwards you can rub it again with your finger and then wipe it again as you notice it just the adhesive very easily and quickly disappears so um, unfortunately I'm a little pressed on time for this repair because the customers are already waiting for it uh, but if I were to slow it down, you'd, you'd see me 
drying it and then when it's dry wiping it with my finger and then wiping it with the cloth again and bit by bit slowly but surely um, all the adhesive comes off there's a there's a um, fluid out there that you can buy on Amazon and eBay uh, I think it's the loco removal uh, it's like this droplet thing where you put on there and you leave it on there for about an hour and then you come back and all the uh, adhesive melts uh, but uh, I've tried that before and I've learned that this actually takes less time than that uh, I can remove all the adhesive on this using this method uh, within no more than 30 minutes yeah but that uh, fluid will take a minimum an hour and sometimes even longer so um, yeah this is the more I guess efficient way uh, it's also very effective I, I you know like uh, I think it's in fact just as effective as that uh, fluid the local removal fluid um, if not more so, yeah notice that I'm blowing on it to dry the alcohol so that I can rub it again with my finger and then I and as you can see it's, it's disappearing fairly quickly and I'm going to keep on repeating this process until it's squeaky clean just like that sometimes you can uh, do that use your breath Repeating this process until, like I said, uh, it is squeaky clean, uh, which will make it easier to apply the new screen. And as you can see, it's almost all gone now. Uh, and if you're not a perfectionist, at this point you could just continue on to the next step, but unfortunately, since I am a perfectionist, uh, I like to, I don't know, I just, I like to see it completely clean, completely, totally clean. Uh, it's just one of my standards of work. Okay, so. Okay. And you notice I'm not pushing down that hard because once again, I don't want to crack the LCD and then have to pay 200 something dollars for me to go the LCD. I'm pushing sideways, I'm never pushing down. Um, and once you've done four or five of these, you'll know what I'm talking about. You, you'll kind of get into the habit of it. It's something that's really hard to explain on a, on a video or via words. It's something you just have to grab, pick up, and then try it. And, and, and you'll know, almost on the first shot, you'll, you'll, you'll get what I'm talking about. It's not really a pushing down method, but a pushing up and down and vigorously wiping until as you can see it's all gone all right thanks a lot all right now so we fully cleaned it put a new adhesive i put the uh, home button back we have some uh, liquid optical adhesive right here i'm gonna make one string right here Make an arrow. Just trying to pop the bubble. Another arrow right here. And then another. Say like that. motion you start from the bottom right here yeah, just like that and you work your way to the top try to get just one connection right down the bottom just like that yeah. this 
way you don't get any bubbles in between. Okay. All right. And then from here, you can get some binder clips. Okay. I've got a lot of uh, people saying that's, that's not a good idea, but I've probably done mo more than, literally more than a thousand of these metal 3 repairs, all using this method, but never had any problems ever using binder clips. Yeah, hold it down like this, and then we're going to use some black light that's going to help spread it across. Okay. A black light. Elevate it. Yeah. I'll give it a little elevation. Oh, you can see that or not. This is some black light. Okay, and that black light is going to really help spread that loco. You can kind of assist it by pushing it gently on the side. Okay. But that's going to uh, speed up the spreading of the loca. We'll meet up in about maybe 15 minutes later. I'll fix the uh, screen so I'm going to go ahead and put it back together. So, starting with the speaker.